Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to format your cells for a phone number format. And I'm, going to, I'm just going to use two examples, one US based example and one international example. A new one for New York and maybe one for India. And for New York we've got our area code 212 and a directory assistance phone number 555-1212. This is separated out by a hyphen. Uh, another example could be where we have our area code and the phone number that's not separated out by a hyphen. And maybe a third example where we have the area code and phone number all in one. No hyphens, no special characters that are separating it. And we want our final output to look like this where we have the area code enclosed within parentheses and a hyphen to separate the phone number here. There's a couple ways we can do this. We can use the ampersand join symbol or we can use the concatenate function or we can use cell formatting. So let's start off with the ampersand. So we have to cre use create a formula and we'll, to start it off we have to put an equal sign there and what we're going to do our first character is going to be that open parentheses and that's considered text. So if you're going to put text within a formula you have to enclose it within a quote. So we do open quote and then the open parentheses close quotes and then the join symbol basically the ampersand symbol is going to join whatever comes between those two. So we're going to join that with the area code and then we need to join it with the close parentheses. Uh, quotes parentheses close and then our final thing we want to join we want to add another join and another ampersand and join the final uh, value here which is the phone number. Press control enter to stay within that cell and now we have the output the way that we want it. The other way we can do it is with the concatenation formula. So basically we have our equal sign and then type in concatenate C-O-N-C and then since it already figured it out here we can just press tab to complete it. And here it's a little, maybe a little bit easier than the using just the join formula. We're just going to start to join the different texts. So the first text we're going to join is the open parentheses. Then comma, the second text we're going to join is the area code. And then the third one is the close parentheses. And then the fourth one is the phone number. And then we have the close quotes here. Control enter and then we have our output. But let's say that we have an example like this. We have where there is no hyphen here. So it, with this example we have to create kind of a hyphen between. But first thing we need to do is separate the first three digits and the last four digits. So that can be done with a formula to separate the first three digits, the left uh, function, and the last four digits we can use a mid function. So let's use that here. We'll put equal sign left. Our text is here. The number of characters, phone numbers in US have usually the first three. So we're going to have three characters. That's going to bring us to 555. So we separated that out. Now we want to separate the last four. And that's good. we're going to use the mid function for that. Equals mid. Our text, we want that text. The start number, we want to start with the fourth one. That's the fourth character, one, two, three, four. And we want four characters, all four characters here. Close parentheses, control enter. So now we have our one, two, one, two. So let's just, you can use either one of these. I'll just use the concatenation function. And, and basically what we would do there is we do equal concatenate tab and then of course the parentheses in the quotes and then we want our area code and then we want our close quotes comma and then close I mean our close parentheses and then now we want the first three digits and what we want to do is we probably want to put that formula in there because we don't want to create a formula each time for each one, each one of these. We can actually put that formula that we created in here. So we do mid and then that text. The start number is three. And then our second text is now we want to create a hyphen because there's no hyphen there. So we want to put the hyphen in between and then our last text is that number and that was with the left formula. So I do left oops left and then that text number of characters that was four and how many how many characters do we want? 
4. Okay, and so that closes out control enter. Whoops, you've entered too few arguments. Let's see what we did here. Mid 3. Oh, okay, so we wanted to start. We wanted to, we did mid. No, we didn't want to do mid. We I switched it around. We wanted to do left. This one was going to be left, and this one was going to be mid. Yeah. Mid. All right, so that because that's going to be the first number here. Press control enter. It found an area of the formula. Let's see. Oh, I needed it a lot. I needed to close that quote, that parentheses there. So Excel uh, help was able to figure out what I did wrong. So I just need that last parentheses. Click yes, and here we have our number. So we see here that left corresponds to what we did here. All right. We have our left here, and this mid corresponds to what we did here. We have our mid here. So that was kind of a long way to do that. If you didn't have that hyphen in there. Now let's say that we wanted we just had it where we had an input like this where the area code and the phone number was all one string. Now I'm I'm just gonna go and equal and reference that. If it was all just one string like this, we can just use the format cells and go under number, and go under special, and there's this phone number type. And what it does is it already has some at the format under parentheses, the area code under parentheses, and hyphenates the phone number. Click OK, and that's there for you. Now that happens because it recognizes that as a number. So one thing to keep in mind that if you, if it doesn't recognize that as a number, it's not going to perform this formatting. So I'll show you what happens there. Let's say it's equal. I'll just do that and ampersand that. Right. The reason why this will not be recognized as a number, you can, the telltale sign is this is left justified. So Excel is seeing this string of numbers, even though it's numbers, it's say, seeing this string of numbers as text. So if we go under here, right click, format cells, and do special phone number, you see the, sa the sample. It will not create that num phone number. You see that it did not see that as a it does not see this as a value, as numbers, even though it looks like it's numbers. It's seeing this as text. One way to make Excel view this as a number, because numbers are right justified, is to, well, we'll just use it, put it in the, within a value function. So basically, a value function turns text into numbers if it's represented in number format. So I'll press Enter. You can see now it has left justified the number and it's applied the formatting to the cell. So let's say that we have we want to not use the formatting that for phone numbers already in Excel but create our own ones because we have a different type of phone number here. This is international phone number for India. What we can do is let's say we did the same thing here. We were we put the value statement and use the ampersand to join these three fields. And go ahead and do that. And we do value, join that, oops, yeah, join that with that with that. Shift close parentheses, control enter to stay there. Now it, it thinks we're performing a mathematical function here. That's why you see this scientific notation formula here, but we can just right click and go into format cells and go under custom and let's create our own type of custom normat custom format for this phone number and we just let's just do something simple where we're just separating it out by hyphens so we know the first the first three numbers are going to be whoops the first three numbers are going to be the two places so we do two places we use the zeros that's going to be our placeholders for the numbers hyphen and then three numbers are going to be the city code and hyphen and the rest is going to be seven numbers for the phone number and you see our sample has already showed it to us we click OK and we double click it to auto fit the cell and now we see that our phone number here has been separated out by hyphens now so there's a couple ways that you can show phone numbers within cells by either using 
the ampersand join symbol, the concatenate function, or just some self formatting. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.